Uh, well, have you heard about this? Levi Johnston. If you were looking for him today, you would probably find him in the gym. We're going to talk about that in a moment. But first, we're going to talk about tailgating. Kelly's all decked out supporting yes. the Steelers. Yeah. I am, because today at the studio, we're actually doing a little tailgating party, a little tailgating action. And so I just thought we should ask you, what are your favorite traditions for tailgating? Because, of course, you got the great food, you get yeah. great drinks, but you've also got some great games, like cornhole's really big oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, we learned how to play cornhole, like, just a few, yeah. well, at least I did anyway, just a few weeks ago on yeah. the show. Because, you know, being from New England, I mean, cornhole is not... Uh, we don't play that at no. all. Yeah, it seems like it's a really big thing right now. It's yeah. really hitting the scene. It's hitting hard. It's just yeah. very, it's all the rage right now. You know, I just came back actually from a football game at the University of Georgia in mm -hmm. Athens, and they had a new game there. They had cornhole there and something called tailgate golf. Do you heard of that? No. Yeah, it's just these, I don't know, it's these poles and these strings with balls attached to the end of it, and you throw it. Like ladder ball or ladder maybe, golf. Maybe, that, maybe that's the same thing. Maybe that's the same thing. I but don't the know. kids loved it. But it's fantastic. It is fantastic. You know, we are a lot of fun. It, we focus on football and sports and stuff, but I, I have to tell you guys, the best tailgate party I have ever, ever, ever seen was actually at a Jimmy Buffett concert. Really? At the Virginia I believe Beach it. Amphitheater too. It was ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> people, you know, pulling their Weber grills mm -hmm. out and yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it was insane. That was the best tailgate I had I had ever seen. Well, you know, and I was there as a reporter, so I couldn't really partake. <sighs> mm. But I, man, I still wished enjoyed I could. it. <laughs> It was well, really neat. That's the thing is we want your stories. What yeah. kinds of things do you bring to your tailgate? Yeah. What kind of food? Like I brought fried chicken. That's so boring. Oh my gosh. That's I mean I delicious. bought it from the store, but you Don't know, what knock other, it. you know, what would you bring? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I grew up um, around like racetracks and race cars oh, and all that kind of stuff. And so they barbecue was really big out yeah. on yeah. the scene there, and that was delicious. I like like this Italian sausage, peppers, onions. Mm. Mm. I can smell it right now. <gasps> but tell oh, us all about your lovely tailgating parties, what yeah. you do, what your traditions are, what you absolutely love on fox 43 tvcom I'll be chatting about it live in the Steelers jersey. Yes, this is the other part of the studio that we're in today, the Web Center, with the buzz on um, tailgating. And I did not mean to start rumors that Snoopy and Woodstock are not BFFs anymore. I'm sure they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're going to make it. And so are you because it's Friday and we're talking about tailgating. And right now, everyone online, fox 43 tvcom mm -hmm. we're, we're chatting live. And they've got some great ideas for what makes their tailgating parties great. Steve said he has a great chili recipe that is fantastic. And he still will not give me the secrets to this chili. But I asked, How do we know it's so great? How do we know it's great? I asked him if he put cheese and Fritos on the top because that is so good when you're eating chili. But he said Fritos. No Fritos. Yes, there's a little tip for you from Kelly Gata. Put some Fritos on that chili. Okay. It's tasty. Lindsay said that what makes tailgating parties great are the friends that you have with you, which, of course, you can't have a party without some friends. Yeah. Love it. But you make friends at tailgating, tailgating events, too. That is Because people tend to roam around and see what else is cooking. Absolutely. You can never have too many friends. And then Cheryl Tan said she has an amazing seven-layer Tex-Mex dip that she absolutely loves. Amazing, huh? And I wish you would bring that in for yeah. us because I've never had it. We'll see if it's amazing. We'll see. We'll bring it in. I bet it is, though. I love those layered um, Mexican dips. Mm, so good. I like so a nice, warm, like a warm dip too. For t yeah. And that's the thing about really good ta tailgaters have the gear. You know what I mean? They've got the portable grills. They've got the things to keep things warm and the things to keep things cold. And this isn't their first rodeo. <laughs> exactly. But I think it comes down to gear, you know, a lot of the times. I don't know. I mean, a lot of times it's, it's, it's camping gear. Yeah, I was at a tailgating party, too. Going, They, they bring their games with them, too. Everyone yeah. had their uh, cornhole get up in their truck. So it was mm -hmm. just everyone pull out your cornhole game. There it is. Got to bring the chairs, you mm -hmm. know, those, the, those, those canvas chairs now that have, like, the foot rest and the <laughs> drink holder and all that if you're not going to walk around. But anyway, yeah. hopefully if you're planning a tailgate this weekend, it will be a success. And we appreciate everybody um, sharing their thoughts, mm -hmm. except for Steve, who did not share. His recipe. his recipe. You did not share, Steve. But mm -hmm. thanks for writing in. <laughs> Cheryl?